guys, it's Scott, and welcome to my channel, Escape Art by Scott. If you're uh, just now seeing me, um, just check out my other videos, and get, that'll get you uh, caught up, and I hope you come back and see me as well. And uh, today is the uh, 20th of July, 2023, and today will be video number 95, almost to the 100 uh, video mark, almost. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I got a old 16 by 20 here canvas. And again, I'm going to what this. Today we're going to be a beach scene today, with with a lot of sand. All this right here is going to be uh, beach and just a little bit of water up here. All right. Let's see here. Spray it down. Now I'm going to come up here and just. Uh, all this is white paint. Very simple. Hey guys, if you can't do what I'm doing now, painting's not for you, okay? Anybody can do this part. And, you know, if you can't do it, mm, then go ahead and put your brushes down because you just ain't going to get it. Move my palette here a little closer. Now I'm going right straight into some uh, Thalo Blue. Little blue come right up in here. Oh, drop in the whole sky. Won't be much of a sky. Leave some little areas open. They'll be automatically come clouds. Okay? Something like that. Grab an old brush here. And this will start blending up. You know, I think, you know, my videos, um, you know, I haven't been doing a, a whole lot with skies here lately. I've noticed that. And, uh, you know, with cloud formations and things. But I want to see what I can't do on my, on my next video. And I want to see, you know, if I can, uh, you know, you know, spend some time on some skies here. So, if you're interested in skies, come back and see me, alright? Now then, I'm going to come right here and some... Thalo blue again. Let's put in some water and try to make this as even as you can, just straight across this top line. Okay. All right. There's that, and I'm going to come right into some phthalo green, a little phthalo green right through here. Right through here. A little bit of water here. A little dry on me. Nice, and see how that thing just moves right on out for me? That's all you need. That's all you need. Come 
right here. A little wave right through here. Something like that. Let's have another one. these ways I like to put me a little dark color right up in here. It's just phthalo blue. It just goes right out to nothing. Save that little line. That line, you know, kind of, kind of nice. Save that. Step back, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm done with my little water up here, I think. And uh, now I'm going to start putting in the sand. And first thing, I'm going to wet this down. And before I get going on this here, I'd like to share a little information with you. Uh, back in on this date, the 20th of July, 1969, we landed on the moon. Yep, today is the day. That those uh those the Armstrong and those boys there they uh, went to the moon and uh, landed on the moon. Now my only question is uh, you know to NASA and, and to the government well I just have one question uh why? <laughs> I mean why go there? How how did we benefit from that? How did the Earth uh, is the Earth better better now because uh, you know. If people landing on the moon, I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. Really don't. This is just some yellow ochre right here. And some white. And I put in a little brown. Just a smidgen of brown. That is. Get that off there. So you, if you don't wet this, you know, it'd be just so dry. It's just already drying on me. So dry. And it, the camera just soak it all up. You have a blob of it right here and nothing over here, you know. But, you know, with this, uh, you know, the camera's being wet. That's alright. It slides right on. No problem. No problem whatsoever. And as you get lower and lower, just make sure that, you know, up here, a little lower than here, because that gives you that perception of distance, you know. If you had it here and you go much straight across, you basically just have a square. See, I have all this ocean on, a, on kind of an angle light, okay? But hey, if you want to, you know, a, uh, hmm. 
you know, just straight across, you know, ocean, more or less the ocean's coming right at you. Instead of going, like I have it here, right to left, just go straight across and then have the ocean coming straight at you. Nothing wrong with that either. Really. I don't think nothing wrong with it. Now let's put this all this down. Now let's come, come across with it now. Come across, get all these little brush strokes out. All the way across. There. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, I want to have me a lot of beach here on this one here because I want to have some, I want to have some palm trees and right through here some uh, foliage, you know. Maybe some wildflowers. That's what this painting is supposed to be, okay? <laughs> but again, uh, yellow ochre, a little white, a little brown. If you want to leave out the brown, that's fine. Just, just tinker with it. Go back and forth. Get the way you like it, alright? Alright, guys. I got my little sap green on a little fan brush here. I'm going to come right up in here. Start putting in me some little ferns. Maybe it could be even so far away, though, you, you don't know if it's ferns or if it's, uh, you know, palm trees or whatnot. Too far away. Sand right up under here. Like a little mound or something. making some palm trees. There. See the, the, the palm, the, you know, the tree trunk and everything is off canvas here, okay? It's kind of like leaning that way. And I do like, you know, the ocean. The oceans. Many miles that way, okay? It's, you know, it's off the campus. Alright? <laughs> I might even put a little pole right here, a little, little piece of a uh, tree trunk. There's one. Let's put some little sand up under here. Right through here. right back. Yeah, I just made a little tree trunk right here and let's put in another one. Again, this is no picture I've seen 
And I've been working on this in my mind for a few days. That's how I paint. Uh, so I don't know, um, you know, things like this grow like this or not. Or, but this is the way I paint. All right. Start making some firms down here. I just want to flick up. a little bit. Let's put a little color in here. A little dark. It's a little dark right through here. Lighten it up a little bit. Alright. This would be a good painting to do if you're trying to learn you know, your fan brushes. <laughs> and let's just come right in here and put a little more of those white sand right through here. That's a little bit dry right through here. Let's put that down. See, nice and slick. stuff right here through here. A little fun right here. Let's come over with it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Come back with your highlight. Just highlight some of these. Look at that. Well, what I'd like to do for you is just put in like a nice big palm right through here somewhere. some high highlight color I'm gonna just lighten that up a little. The same color I use for sand. And just give it a little pull. You know this pulling technique it gives it the tree some kind of roundness. It really does. There. Now, come back with some sap green and let's put in some old ferns right here, some leaves.
would like to share a little story with you. Is that the other day, just strange, you know, it, it amazes me what, what people do to themselves. And they wonder, you know, they're health wise. You, you know, and, you know, they think, you know, wonder why, you know, their health ain't as good as it should be or whatever, right? Well, how's that, uh, how's that, uh, Hospital parking lot, let's just say, okay? That this was the other day. And uh you know the buildings, they had several buildings, one building had a heart, you know, had when you got heart issues or whatever, then that's where you go. You know. Just putting down some highlights right through here. That's all I'm doing. And this lady's walking in, evidently, you know, she's an older lady. You know, and uh, she was walking in before she stopped. Before she walked in, she stopped. You know, thinking, you know, what's she stopping for? You know, and she had to, she had to light up one of those cigarettes, one of those what I call them lung darts. But like, it just, it just, I don't know what it did to me. It, it was kind of, in a way, you know, kind of funny. Here's this lady going in for her heart. You know, but she can't make it in without sucking on that doggone lung dart. So, yes, it just amazes me what people do. You know, the old lung darts, people, what's, what's another word for them? Cancer sticks and, uh, oh, the nails in the coffin. Yeah. She had to have one more nail in that coffin before she walked into that heart. And see that old heart doctor. Doctor, save me. And, but hurry up, because I gotta get back out there. I got one more lung dart to get to. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it's just irritating. I don't know. There was another one, same day, lady walked into this building. It was a, um, what was that? It was a, it was a cancer building. You know, you got cancer, you go in there, and it just said cancer inside the building, whatever. You know, lady walks out, and uh, she had one of the things on her head. Every day she's taking radiation treatment. You know, horrible thing, you know. And uh, she, she gets on the car, and I'm talking about she was puffing out one probably that long. It was sticking out of her mouth, you know. It was, I mean, the thing was that long. Going in there, you know, again, doctor saved my life. But hurry up. I got one more nail in the coffin to get to. I, I don't mean nothing by it. I just don't feel sorry for any of those people. I really don't. How can you? How can you feel sorry? But anyway, uh, let me cut off the camera. <laughs> Enough on that. Let me cut off the camera and let me get back here. All right, guys. Real quick here before the old camera. I'm gonna try to squeeze this in. Some, squeeze this in, in one shot. I like to put me some little, just little, some little flowers throughout here. Little, little wildflower. I don't even know if they grow right here, but they're going to grow in here in this painting here. I'll tell you that. Here they come. It's all kind of flowers. Hey guys, I think we'll call this and finish. I'll come back and put some more little flowers in there. Maybe a few little birds, but uh, the, old, the old camera is about to go off on me. Again, uh, I hope you come back and see me. This is Scott. This is my channel, Escape Art by Scott. And one more shout out. I got 41. Listen to this. I got 41 subscribers. And I appreciate all of you guys doing that for me. You know, when I first started this out over a year ago, and uh, that, you know, I, I might get four subscribers. I didn't think I would get 41, but hey, uh, keep on subscribing to that channel for me, though, guys. And, and hit that old like button, share this, my videos for me. Uh, this will help me, uh, you know, get my keep my videos going. And, you, you know, maybe YouTube, folks that run YouTube, they'll, you know, shoot my videos out there a little bit more than what they're doing. 
And maybe uh, you, let's see how far that you and I can take this, okay? So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Come back and see me.